Hey everybody, it's Casey here, Survival Preacher. And I got me a new toy today. I want to share it with y'all. Kind of super excited about this. It comes in a little mash bag. It says Esbit on it. Little Esbit coffee maker. Been wanting one of these for a long time. I've searched out the other ones and Esbit's the one I, I really think that I want. And uh, so I'm going to give it a shot. Comes with a screw off lid, a little spout. It's got a little uh, kind of a, well, it's a little gasket, a nylon gasket. And a real fine mash screen in here to filter your coffee. It's got this regular little percolator stem here. comes with a little stove that you put Esbit tablets in. I was going to use Esbit tablets today, but I thought the stove come with them, but it didn't. Someone had to buy me some or send for some or something. But the little fold-up legs is fold right up. Stores right back inside the coffee maker. And it comes with your little Esbit holder. And your little Esbit snuffer to snuff it out. So that's kind of cool. Here's your little pot. So let's get started. I'm I'm really excited about trying this out. And you're gonna be the first to see it along with me. Let's get started on this. Uh, first, I get my little coffee bag out here. Well, let's first fill up. One thing I found out about making coffee in these little coffee pots is you want to use the vessel <laughs> that you're making the coffee in to uh, measure your water. Because if not, you could have a mess on your hands. So I'm going to use my green cup and we're going to dump in the coffee or the water I mean and that's going to be my measure. Now we'll get our little coffee bag out. Let's put this right down in there. I have a little coffee scoop for my coffee bag that I cut the handle off of it so that it would be easy to put down in my bag. Looks like two scoops of that scooper is going to do it. Get it all pushed down. Get my lid put back on. Since I didn't get no Esbit tablets with my Esbit stove, I'm going to use my alcohol stove. So I got my Nathan 4071 ferro rod with my handle that I made from Chaliso Shell. Or fat wood with my little Ozark trail knife I'm gonna do a review on this knife someday I've been using this quite frequently and I really like this little knife three dollars at Walmart Ozark trail it's got a 90 degree spine on it hard to believe but it does let's get this thing lit up there she's lit up I know you. I don't know if you can see that flame or not, but it's a going. Go ahead and put my little stove top on there. I'm a creamer kind of guy, so we're gonna put my creamer in there.
Now we're going to set this right on the stove. And we wait. And we wait. No, I'm not going to make you wait. I'm going to go ahead and shut this off. And then when we get ready to start making coffee, if I hear a sound out of it or something, we'll turn it back on and show you what it does. Should not take too long. That little stove burns pretty hot. Okay, it's been about three minutes. And I didn't get the camera turned on quite in time. But there we go. <laughs> about three minutes. I heard some bubbling going on up there. And I went to uh, turn the camera on. And it was already starting to come out. So <laughs> it really comes out fast. I know that's going to be hot. So I took that off with my... That's stainless steel. That's going to be hot. But you know... Still got steam coming out of it. Let me get that stirred up. I'm going to tell you what, with that, it's not a Trangia stove. It's a Pathfinder's alcohol stove. I only put about an ounce and a half of alcohol in that, ounce to an ounce and a half. And it's still going. It's going good. I mean, look at that flame on that. Used my Nathan 4071 fire starter, ferro rod, with my Chalisa O'Shell fat wood handle that I made for it. My little Ozark trail. $3 knife that I'm going to do a review on one of these days because that thing is awesome for three bucks. My green cup from the Green Cup Club, Stanley Green Cup. The taste test. That is some awesome coffee. Need to get you one of those little, still pretty hot to touch, one of those little Esbit coffee makers. If you just want a cup of coffee in the morning, you're out in the woods, and you uh, by yourself, and you just want one cup of coffee. Of course, I usually drink two or three cups of coffee in the morning, but uh, there's times where, you know, you'd be in a hurry, just want one cup of coffee. There you go. It really makes some awesome coffee. Till I see you again in the next video. God bless. Bye bye.